What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today, getting real up close and personal with you. I thought it was about time to kind of share with you guys the not so pretty part of my fitness and health journey. The truth is, I've been in this game for a while now. Okay, I have been practicing fitness, learning along the way for a good, better part of what, 13 years now? So you best believe that I have learned so, so, so much. Some really valuable like life experiences that helped to kind of shape me into who I am today and to really teach me what to definitely do and what to definitely not do. So this video, I just kind of want to share it with you guys, open up a little bit. So maybe it could help a few people out there and honestly, so you don't make the same mistakes I did because I'll tell you one thing, it was a rough, it was, it was, it was, it, 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 there were some rough moments in this journey. So go ahead, girl, go grab your cup of tea because we got some chit chat to do, okay? I'm gonna go get cozy on the couch. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not already and follow your girl on IG for all things fitness because together we always got this. All right guys, so whatever you do, please don't judge me with anything that I share with you today. It's between us. This is vulnerable Ash speaking right now, okay? So here's the deal. A lot of people might not have ever known this side of me unless you knew me personally in real life. I want you guys to feel super close to me and confide in what I say to help you out. So yeah, guys, I am gonna be popping in some pictures from over a decade ago, and please, by all means, like, that was back when I didn't even have a smartphone. That's like a decade ago, are you kidding me? I only got a smartphone like five years ago. And so the quality's not that good because I had it on a freaking floppy disk. I said that, floppy disk. Sorry about the crappy quality. Looking at these photos, you might think that there looks like there's nothing wrong. And by a physically like visual aspect, you might think I look fine and healthy and I'm, everything's all good. But it was going, what was going on in here though, girl, was not in here, was not healthy. So 10 years ago, over 10 years ago now, little old 20 year old Ashley moved her bum out to California. I wanted to experience a different life. I am from New Jersey, born and raised. I wanted a different kind of life. I was shooting to do more of like modeling, some acting, things like that. I moved to freaking California for crying out loud. Duh. I was only about a couple years into like fitness at that time. So I was really freaking new at it. And to be honest with you, the standard of beauty, especially like out there near LA and what I was trying to do with my life, there's like this beauty standard that I felt you had to achieve in order to be successful. I felt a lot of my days were spent idolizing celebrities and, you know, kind of doing what they would do. I would see people like Megan Fox, for example, okay? I was like, I want to be her. I want to look like her, to have her figure, all oh, that. I actually read an article that she was interviewed in and she said something along the lines of that she didn't have time to work out with her busy schedule. So instead of working out, she just didn't eat calories so that she didn't have to work out and burn them off. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, little naive Ash, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I don't want to exert myself. No one's got time for that. Let me just kind of cheat and cut some corners so I can focus on other things in life, right? I used to wait tables f almost full time while I was out there. And I would literally wake up in the morning and for breakfast, guess what I would eat for breakfast, girl? I would eat a palm, mind you, a palm. I measured it in the fricking palm of my hand. Oats, plain oats with a little bit of salt. I know that sounds disgusting, but it actually was pretty good. And just like hot water, nothing else in it. Okay, no, no like vitamins and nutrients, like nothing in it, no substance, just freaking oats. And I would have that for breakfast and guess what I would eat for the rest of the day? Peas, peas. I said it, you know, little vegetable peas. So I went throughout my day for a long time doing that. And I will admit to you, I dropped a lot of weight in an unhealthy way. But the kicker here is that even though I dropped a ton of weight, my stomach was a massive bloating machine where it looked like I was starving myself. If you saw me in a bikini, it looked like I was starving myself, which is exactly what I was doing. 
I was finding myself running on virtually nothing and trying to work as a waitress, right? Lifting heavy plates and things like that. I found myself literally on the verge of collapsing many a times. So not only was I limiting my calorie intake and really not even like being able to function throughout the day, but on top of that, if you don't think that's bad enough, your girl was taking diet pills daily. I would take it on an empty stomach sometimes in the morning and there were days where that's all I would take and then go to work. I'd be setting up the restaurant like this. I would literally look at my hand just shaking and it was the worst stress I've ever put on my body in my entire life. It caused me to break out. I mean break out in hives on my face. My skin has never looked so horrific. Okay, it put a, a stress on my mental health, on my physical health, obviously. And to be very honest with you, like I wasn't even thinking about health in general when doing all of this. My one and only goal was to be super skinny, to fit a mold. I was actually super depressed during this time. My mental health took a toll, my functions took a toll, everything took a toll, and I was just, I was out of it. There were days where I had to call out of the restaurant, give up a shift to say I physically couldn't do it because I could barely lift my arms up, man. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be real with you. I started to get back into the proper way of working out. No more cheating systems, no more trying to just limit my calorie intake so that I didn't have to work out. I found that I reignited the passion I have for fitness and actually moving your body and lifting weights, things like that. It has such an impact on my mental health when I work out. Not working out versus working out, Ash, two totally different people. Depressed, happy as heck. And guys, even though clearly you could see that I've come a long way from the old Ash and I've learned a ton, but don't get it twisted because I still got a lot more learning to go. And I am not afraid to say that because we all do. You'd be lying if you said that you knew it all. Am I right? My point that I'm trying to make with that is do not look up to people in that light of kind of saying, well, if that's what they do, I'm going to do it. Cause not everything works for everybody. Nothing's cookie cutter. We all know that. And this is the big reason why I wanted to film this video today is because I know there's a lot of people out there that might idolize, you know, certain public figures or certain fitness influencers and things like that. And it's awesome to get that inspiration. But I also find it super important to realize that nobody is perfect. And I will be the first one to tell you that I am not an expert. I take what I do very seriously. And the information that I do provide people, I make sure that it is real information, reputable information. I am in fact a certified personal trainer, but the biggest thing that I learned from that is that everybody's body is super different and unique and it functions differently. And to be honest, that is a huge reason why I do not sell guides and I have no intention of selling guides. It is just so easy to get caught up in what everybody else is doing and what's working for somebody else. And who knows, it might not even be working, but Social media is a highlight reel, so you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. Even exercising, there's a lot of things I don't do just because everybody else on social media is doing it. You'll never catch me doing insanely heavy hip thrusts. Why? Because I got a bad lower back and it's all good. Now that doesn't mean don't challenge yourself. It's always great to challenge yourself. Learn, progress, always get better. That is the fun part of the journey, is to grow and evolve and see, dang, that's where I came from, that's dope. That's what you want. That's gonna feel the most satisfying over anything. This is your journey. As far as I know, it's no one else's journey, am I right? Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this video helped you and gained some insight, not only uh, to learn a little bit more about me, but to help you out as well, which is always the main priority for this channel, always. Speaking of this channel, we have a ton more videos to come. Girl, we got workout, we got diet videos, and loads of Gymshark, okay? I know we've been lacking in the Gymshark department this month, but it's only because of freaking COVID, delaying all my shoes. So I literally have been waiting all month on packages. It's nobody's fault at all. Except COVID. <laughs> so uh, that will definitely be up soon. Lots and lots of Gymshark to come. All right, I love you all so much, and I will catch you in my next video.